Okay, what's up guys? It is Badass2189 here, and I am severely, pretty much, kind of, pretty pissed off right now. So I'm going to go ahead and explain to you all why I'm pretty pissed off. I just got on my YouTube channel on my Xbox 360 to look at to because on my phone I can't really see you know a lot of comments because a lot of the, my comments for some reason get get supposedly gets uh, put into my spam folder so I like getting onto my YouTube channel on my Xbox this is Internet Explorer to to look at it and see what messages I didn't get and I found a few comments on there so I went ahead and approved them so the, to those of you whose comments I never responded to or anything I'm sorry like I said I didn't see it it popped up in my spam folder but I approved them they're on there and I even liked all of your comments so thank you very much for commenting but anyway while I was on there I noticed something my most recent video, which I just uploaded yesterday, which was, um, which pretty much was this video right here, Hide and Seek, Story of Dorothy, Part Story, Hide and Seek, Story of Dorothy, App Game, Part 3. I noticed it has no views. So I started wondering, did I put it on private accidentally? Did I make a mistake? Did I accidentally mark it private and not put it to where everyone can see it? And to that answer, right here's your answer. No, I did not. I put it public. So I dug a little deeper into it and went on my and looked the app on tried to open the video on on my on my Xbox and sure enough it turns out X it turns out YouTube flagged it with a copyright uh, a copyright fucking law well, a copyright fucking you know ba uh, fucking thing. And they're waiting for a response from the people who made, who, who supposedly f reported it for copyright, uh, whatever you hell, whatever the hell it is. Breaking the law, breaking copyright agreements or some shit. Well, I got something to say to you, YouTube. For one, if you go through my fucking chan, my whole fucking channel here, you will see there was two other videos just like that fucking first one, which you did not fucking they didn't flag for copyright laws so why the fuck do you have to fucking flag my third video instead of my first or my second one which has been on there for fucking over a week so I would like to know why the fuck do you have to fucking sit there and attack me and go after my fucking new video which I just uploaded 19 hours ago for copyright law and fucking thing and I'm hoping YouTube watches this video because I'm going to be sure to tag YouTube's name in it just to make sure they're, they're going to watch this video. Because it kind of pisses me off. I'm on here. I'm not doing anything wrong. It's not like I'm putting that I created this game. I put the name of the fucking... I put the name on there of who, who really created this game. Well, I didn't put it on there, but you can see the name is clearly visible. Hide and Seek Story of Dorothy App Game. Does it say Story of Dorothy? My game, which I created? No. And as you can see down here where I, I said, the way I tagged the game is I tagged it with Hide and Seek Story of Dorothy Horror RPG Mobile Game and Google Play. Why the hell would they freaking flag me for copyright laws? If they want me to tag the actual creators of the game in it, I'll go ahead and tag the actual creators in the game of it. In it. I'll go ahead and go on every one of these videos which I have from that same game, which is three videos on here, and I'm going to go ahead and tag freaking YouTube's little uh, fucking 
I'm on not, not YouTube, but I'm on tag the creator of the game, which at the current time, the creator of this game is not in fact me. I don't know who the fuck decided to report it for copyright laws, but it is not me. The creator of the game is this company right here. Tambumsoft. That's the creators of the game. I never claimed I created the game. All I was doing was playing for my many subscribers here and getting the word out for this cool game, which is awesome, which is probably getting them people, a lot of people playing this damn game. And they're going to sit there and the freaking YouTube's going to flag it for copyright law infringement or whatever the hell it is. This is the creators of the game. This, per this person right here. The name right there at the top, right here in the fucking center of the screen, right there. Which looks like a fucking set of, uh, what do you call it, like the arrows on a controller with the letter T in the middle. That's the real creators of the game. I never claimed I created it. I never once claimed I created this game ever in my video. And I would like all my subscribers to please comment and verify that I never claimed I created this game. If you see a part where I said, where I actually freaking said in, in one of those three videos I showed you a minute ago, which is either Side and Seek Story of Dorothy App Game Part 1 or Story of Dorothy Part 2 or this one, any of these three right here, if you see a part in there where I said I created this game, then please comment and let me know what time did I actually say I created this app game. And if I didn't, then please help me freaking get the stupid copyright freaking law infringement thing off my video. And I don't care if YouTube watches this. I'm not afraid of you. You want to you want to ban my account? You go ahead. I'll have another one up in a few days. I'll have another one up in a few weeks after that. I can just keep getting them on and off over and over again. And if you current permanently ban every account I create on here from ever being on this on this freaking on your little social media website, then I'll go one step further and I'll just say forget YouTube and I'll go to another freaking uh, video uploading website and I will get everybody to go and join that instead of YouTube. Besides, I've seen multiple videos where people are saying YouTube's laws are getting far and beyond the Call of Duty. They're all going far and beyond to freaking try to protect every to protect and make sure all these videos ain't at all bad. They're trying to stop people from cussing in their videos. Why? Everybody cusses outside. Everybody hears people saying fuck and shit and damn and all. They hear everything. And all the kids, I've, I've seen 10 year old kids on freaking YouTube cussing. I've even seen 10 year old kids on video games who scream shit and damn and freaking the. All kinds of bad words. They, they scream every. They've. They freaking. They know, kids know every freaking bad word that there is. If you can fucking. If you can show me. If you got. If freaking YouTube can show me a set of 10 kids that don't know one single cuss word, I will freaking literally. I will literally freaking just. I don't even know. All I know is I'm just severely pissed off that they sit there and freaking threw that damn copyright infringement thing on my fucking YouTube video. I put that up for all my subscribers, all of you. You are the people who make YouTube YouTubers who they are. You guys. It's not us that make the YouTube channel what it is. It's all of you. The subscribers. That's who makes YouTube channels big. That's who makes the YouTube channels mean something. There's no one else. No, like I said, none of the YouTubers make their YouTube channels big and awesome. Like me, PewDiePie, Leafy is here. All of them. We don't make the YouTube channels big like like 
like they are. We don't get we don't make the videos and stuff awesome. It's you guys, the subscribers who make the YouTube videos awesome. Without you guys, if no one subscribed to us, we would be really low, no subscribers, zero views. We wouldn't be big. We wouldn't be huge YouTube legends and shit like that. It's you guys, the subscribers that make us YouTube legends. Your voices do count. Your voices do matter. Not ours. All I'm saying is our YouTube channels are only legends because of you guys. All of our many, many, many subscribers. That's what helps us get. That's what helps us become legends. That's what helps us become YouTube sensations. That's what makes us YouTubers. It's not us, it's you guys. And I really think it's bullshit that YouTube is doing this freaking shit to to YouTubers and shit like that. Where they're sitting there and they're being more stricter on their terms of service and they altered them a little bit. Their terms of agreement just because they've got so many freaking people using YouTube every day that they decided to be a little more stricter and tighten the rope on the freaking on the laws and, and agreements and shit. And personally, I think it's bullshit that they decided to ban this one fucking video for no freaking reason. I never once said anything in the video. And what is up, you guys? We are back again for part three of Hide and Seek, Story of Dorothy. Last time we left off, trying to figure out how the hell to do that that chess puzzle well I have after countless times of attempt, oh, countless attempts of trying to do it I decided upon looking it up and I found a YouTube video on how to do it and so I went ahead and did it well I'm, I'm about to do it now for you all if it's got anything to do with me saying that I looked it up on YouTube, well, it wasn't YouTube exactly that told me how to do it. It was a YouTuber video, a, one of the YouTubers' video, who I actually subscribed to for her because her videos are so helpful, I decided to subscribe to her. And that YouTuber is this woman right here. Let me figure out how to freaking see her. Let me see. How do I see my... YouTubers video. Let's see. Okay. Um, let's do this. Is it this? Yeah, right here. It's this YouTuber right here. Let me find her. Right there. This YouTuber is the one who I use to help me figure this this game out. Whenever I run into a difficult part, I watch one of her videos sea salt sweets to help me figure it out because their, their, her videos are pretty helpful and this game is pretty difficult for me I never it's kind of difficult because the some of the puzzles doesn't make any sense and as you can tell she has played this game before so this is what helps me figure out how to fit how to fi figure out to do some of the puzzles some of them I figure out on my own like the painting puzzle in the in in that last in my second video, I figured that out pretty simple and easy because I mean it's obvious. I walk into that room I, after I read that painting. I looked around on the wall and there's the moon, the sun, the hills, and water. And I'm thinking, what the hell is this? And then also I realized the painting that I saw before in the game had the same things in in the in the word in the description of it. This is the girl who's who I've, who I've watched her videos whenever I run into a little tricky part. I watch one of her videos to figure out how to do the, the freaking, how to get through that next part. This way I can throw my funny video out there for you guys to watch. Just because I'm playing a copyrighted game doesn't mean my video is claiming that I own the copyright to this freaking this app game. I never once said I own this game. I made this game. I never said anything about it in the video. 
all I said was the simple fact that I'm playing an app game of story of that's uh, called Hide and Seek Story of Dorothy. And I explained that I finally, after the last video, I was trying to figure out how to figure out this puzzle, which I couldn't figure out. So I looked it up on another YouTube, on, a, on YouTube, which is this YouTuber here. And her name is, like I said, Sea Salt Sweet. If you want to, you could subscribe to her, because I've already subscribed to her. She's really, she's got some nice, decent content on here. And she... And her video is what helped me figure out what to do on that video, on that bit, on the, on this game, on hide and seek story of Dorothy. That's what's helping me figure out how to figure out what to do. And shit. But I strongly find it ridiculous that freaking YouTube freaking reported this for copyright. Because it's supposed to be a really hard thing to do, and it's not real easy to do at all. So, it's supposed to be a really difficult puzzle, but after seeing how to do it, it's actually quite easy. <clears throat> First of all, it's basically just like the thing said. you got to organize these pieces in a line. Assuming I don't see any way around like to like claim this game is mine. Do you guys see it? Is there an invisible word there that says this game belongs to me? One thing these two pieces switch. And another thing I think is ridiculous is the simple fact that YouTube flagged my video for uh, freaking copyright infringement. Why didn't they flag any of these other YouTubers who've done the same video that I've done that I've made? Now I'm just going to enter this door, and ta-da! <coughs> because the picture wow. shows the, the freaking front of the game, like the, that the, is the definitely main creepy. of the game. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, I so we have six different monkeys, so I'm going to have a bush or something like that. You know, and computer, there's six or high tech freaking video monkeys. camera equipment or any shit like that. I got there. all I've got to do to record is my cell phone. That's the only thing I record. Oh, my cell phone. They're all bloody skulls too. And once they say, if I ever get some money and be able to buy some high tech equipment, then I'll bring more better quality videos. So I'm sorry to anyone who finds my quality videos a little, a little, a little you know, issue with them. I'm sorry to you. Um, One of the monkeys here stole my banana. Ah, plot thickens. Take a guess. If you guess it correctly, you will have to sacrifice your life. So, in order not to die, I'll have to figure out which one is telling the truth. And make them and put them on YouTube for other people to see the plot. Which one is telling the truth? The eighth monkey came to me. And seven hundred dollars on this microphone. And six hundred dollars on this fucking table. And you're trying to hook it up to your ex. He speaks the truth, so he's lying. You are a liar. Liar! The white monkey is a liar, so the white monkey tells the truth. I don't have it. So, you have the banana. That's what you said. I don't have it. You actually do have it. What about this one? So he, do, he does have, 
he says he does have it, and he says that's a lie. So he doesn't have it really. The blue monkey spoke the truth. So the blue monkey said the red monkey doesn't have it, such as a truth. You have it. Okay, how do I choose that one? Since you guessed correctly, I will give you a prize. Not the other way around. We don't give our YouTube channel a life. You guys are the ones who watch our videos when we upload. You guys are the ones who subscribe to us and watch our content every day. And listen to us jabber on and jabber on and jabber about whatever the hell we talk about. You guys are the ones who watch our videos about gameplays and stuff like that to see what you to buy at the store, or what you would like to buy at GameStop, or so on and so forth, which I don't own copyright to that place either, that's not my, that's not my store or nothing, I'm just saying, you guys are what makes our YouTube videos fly. I've done it several times, I've watched people's YouTube play, play for walkthroughs, when I was at GameStop to see what games were awesome enough that I would want to buy. Okay. That's what made me want to buy Black Ops 2. Is watching a YouTube video of somebody okay, else yeah, playing. Yeah, there's nothing in here I can do. And I saw how awesome the game worked and how Let's go try the, the, the draft door that came with the doll. That the doll, the doll the pieces stuff. were in front of. Maybe it's got something to do with that. And I'm sure multiples of you guys have done them on. I'm sure anyone really that watches a YouTuber's video on a game just to see yeah, how dude, awesome it looks. Because if you go and just run and buy a game without renting it or watching a video on it, then you don't know it's like a 50-50 chance that you might be getting a good game, but you also might be getting a bad game that just plays first. Okay. You can't exactly just take and so just go and buy Game Informer's information on it, because sometimes they might say it's a bad, horrible game, but to read, but you know, I have to be in that pretty cool to view. Everybody's different. No one likes the same stuff. How am I supposed to go with it? Like, for instance, Lollipop Chainsaw. Not one of my games either, I never created it. So don't start saying, oh, he did a copyright wall in front of me or some stupid shit like that. But like I said, Lollipop Chainsaw. I've seen several websites say that game sucked. And I, for one, can verify that game does not suck. It might be kind of short, and it might not have a lot of stuff you can do, but that game does kick pretty much pretty, pretty cool ass. I played that game, that game is pretty fucking awesome. It seems, to me honestly, it might seem like a girly game since you're playing as a girl, but to me honestly, most of the time, every game I mostly pick the girl in it. Because a lot of times, the girl in the game normally gets some more better equipment, she gets more health, and stuff like that. I've seen it most of the times in the game, so I can do it, I can choose my thought process. I'm about to come back here and get the book from up here now.
day was death. Shit. Oh my god. Ignore that. I am sorry. That was an ad. So sick of these ads. Boy. <coughs> Person, but okay, so the game might have been all well, to you, but to you, whoever plays the game and decides to buy it or rent it or something, the game might seem actually pretty awesome. Probably even cool as hell. I don't even see him just destroying him beyond all seeing him here. That's why I say you always should try and watch a YouTube video on a gameplay or rent the game before you buy. This way you can find out what's awesome instead of just instead of just hearing somebody talk about the game and stuff. This is my video, this is my game. I made okay. this game by hand on the computer with all this high tech equipment and so on and so forth. I never would have said that. I might not have said this is the, the creator's game, but if you watch my first video, then you'll see why I didn't say my creator's why I didn't say okay, yeah, the creator of the game's game. Because I already mentioned them in my so first to, video. The doll, my very, the very first video that I made Maybe it's for this game, that. if you watch it, I start out in the app store where I'm showing them the game. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's end up this door. Just okay. save before, before I keep going now. now. Quick weather change. But like I said, the door is still locked. Pies a guy or something because he's actually pretty cool. That's Let's one he's one YouTuber that made me want to be a YouTuber. When I saw some of his videos, some of his gameplay videos, that made me want to be a YouTuber. Because he, uh, he acts so funny and so goofy in some of the videos, it's hilarious. I can't stop laughing, so that's oh, why God. I started doing YouTube videos, which is why I noticed some of my some of the way I, I act. This kind of resembles oh to some of the ways he acts in his videos and stuff. Ignore that. Which, that's I'm pretty much the way I act naturally, because I mean, so sick of these I, ads. I'm pretty much almost like a clown by myself in real life. I don't do a job of a clown, but I mean, that's just the way I act. I'm okay, clumsy a little bit, I trip so a little bit on my feet sometimes. I'm just in general goofy. Why not do YouTube? Since I see PewDiePie doing it, and he gets some laughs by, from me and everything. 
thing, I figured why not do YouTube? So this way, you know, I can get YouTube to get, get out there into the public and, you know, let them laugh at me and find me funny, funny and get into YouTube, become a YouTube legend like him. And I also, t I also like Leafy is here. So I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty big fan of both Leafy is here, PewDiePie, Cinnamon Toast King, uh, multiple different people. I mean, even some of the creepy pastas I've seen, like Nick Creepy Pasta and uh, Creepy Pasta Junior. I love their videos too. When I see their videos, it just chills down my spine. Oh, there we go. Just, That's what I was supposed to do. Just, just, oh, okay. That's okay. my third thing. I look up to them. That's what made me want to be a YouTuber. I wanted to be, I wanted, that's why I did that video on Whitney Wisconsin. Because I watched Lisa do it on her, and I found it to be a woman. Just, I felt just like him. I felt it just did me. It just made me wonder what has happened to YouTube. What has happened to, to the world? Topic sometimes because I'm trying to calm down and trying to chill out. Okay, so now we know. Uh, yeah. This is what kind of pisses me off. Like okay. I said, I uploaded that video for all of you guys. My many, many subscribers. Back here and do it again. I'm so far, I've been my 25 subscribers. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to get more, but so far, I feel like I've hit a wall. Like, I just can't look past this brick wall I've hit. PMPN, let's go over here. Figure out more content, and I'm thinking about doing some Minecraft videos, so I'm hoping that might pull some new subscribers in. I'm also planning on doing more YouTube, more yeah. Xbox Live videos. Not like live, like literally, so I can't do live streaming stuff. I don't know why I'm not able to do it. I don't have the proper equipment or something. But, uh, YouTubers to have a bad. Uh, so far, what there's the only hell? four YouTubers going to be in the bad. Me. There's going to be four YouTubers in the bad. There's going to be me and the other two friends of mine who are YouTubers. Free-for-all match with multiple different YouTubers, all videotaping, video recording from their own point of view. So you won't just see one side of the battle or two sides of the battle. You're going to see it from everybody's angle. You're going to see it from all of our points of view. My point of view is hurt, their point of view is You're going to see what it looks like from all of us. How we, what, what it looks like from all of us. So I'm not really going to show a face cam of me, but I'm still going to play the game, and I'm going to do it. <laughs> Like I 
set. Do it already, because I'm wanting to see it. And I know some of you probably out there are probably saying, "What the fuck ever? Right. I don't care, whatever." Who cares? We'll try a few more times until. But there are some people out there. This is gonna be. I've never seen online. I've never seen people do a battle with YouTubers only in it, included in it. Where it's all YouTubers video taping from each other on point of view, so it's all. Everybody in the battle is going to be the video recorded from the point of view. So you're going to see the battle from multiple different points. Not just mine, not just one of theirs, not just two of theirs, you're going to see it from all of them. However many people will be in this battle, that's what I'm going to show you. Not too far. Help each other out. We're going to tag each of us in, a, in, in videos, this way all our subscribers know, this way all our subscribers can watch it from each of our points of view. So they can see the back of to my channel, check me out on Facebook under Chris J. Doe, and subscribe for more content on here, which I will be giving you more. If you'd like to give me, you know, an idea of something you, you a lot of you would like to see me, uh, I don't know, uh, you know, but if you have an idea or some hit or something you'd like to on here, I can try, or you can give me an idea of something you'd like me to, to, you know, uh, to, uh, you know, talk about or something like that, let me know in the comments, and I'll try and get back to you on that, if you guys got any questions or, you know, stuff like that about anything, you know, just hit me up with comments on the videos, and I'll answer every question you ask, <clears throat> that is, almost every question, as long as it's nothing about me, me person, my personal life, or me personally, I can answer, answer any questions you ask me about <clears throat> my videos, and my gameplay, and stuff like that, so, uh, yeah, here soon, I will be giving you an update, and here soon, I will be doing the black too. We are still trying to find people. I'm sorry it's taken a long time to do the Black Ops 2 YouTuber uh, battle extravaganza, but I'm having trouble finding more YouTubers like that. I know. My life, or me personally, I can answer, answer any questions you ask me about. <clears throat> my videos and my gameplay and stuff like that. Mm. So, uh, yeah. Here soon, I will be giving an update. Here soon, I will be doing the Black Ops 2. We are still trying to find people. I'm sorry it's taken a long time to do the Black Ops 2 YouTuber uh, battle extravaganza, but I'm having trouble finding more YouTubers to battle with. So, yeah. Here soon, I'll probably be doing some Minecraft videos for a couple of my uh, YouTubers that they wanted me to videotape their world. And subscribers, I should say. They wanted me to videotape their world and put it up on YouTube, so I'll probably be doing that here soon. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!
that's how I. I just did. And that's the way my video ended. And as you can see, I never once claimed this game was mine. I never once said, oh, this is my game that I created. Which I'm not. I didn't create that game. I never did. That game does not belong to me. It doesn't, it's not my personal property. I recorded it for you guys. Because you guys are my subscribers. You guys make my channel. Just like you guys make, just like some of you guys make PewDiePie's channel, BroFist. Just like some of you guys make Leafy's channel, The Reptilians. <clears throat> just like some of you make Cinnamon Toast Ken's channel huge. Just like some of you make KSI's channel big. All of you guys are what makes our channels what they are. We don't make the channel what it is. We just create it. We pretty much give birth to the channel. That's it. We don't... We make the videos. We might make the videos, yes, but without you guys, the videos would mean nothing. It would be just a video. Like a home movie. That's all it would be. With the videos out there and with you guys on our side liking and subscribing to our videos and stuff and our YouTube channels and Twitter accounts and Facebooks and so on and so forth that's what makes us who we are that's what makes us YouTube legends me I'm not one yet which I hope to be I really would love to be one that's why I started making YouTube videos because I would like to be one for some people to look up to. I mean, I don't, I don't do anything bad like freaking, like some, like some, like some people out there in the world. I mean, I'm not saying any YouTuber does, because no, I've never seen a YouTuber do anything bad or horrible or cruel or illegal. <clears throat> but I don't do that stuff at all, just like them. I'm a nice, kind person who's really friendly, and if you met me online, you would see I'm actually a really friendly person. I get pissed off just like any other person does when they get killed in the game. I cuss, I rant and rave a little bit with some anger, I rage, but one-on-one, -on -one, if me and you were on a team together or something like that, I would be your best friend. And as for YouTube, like I said, this video will go up. I don't care if you copyrighted that last, my last copy of it. I'm going to go ahead and upload this copy of it. And this copy, you can't say I didn't, I broke any copyright laws. Because I am claiming I never made this game. I never made it. I didn't have any rights to it. I never took it and did anything to it. I didn't put my name on it. I didn't freaking create any part in the game. All I'm doing is playing it for you guys, for all my subscribers to see. I'm getting the game out there so people can see how awesome it is and they will go and download it and play it for themselves because they'll see how cool or how horrifying it is and stuff, how scary and jump scares it puts you and stuff. To get attention to the game. Draw attention to it. A game which probably a lot of people has never heard of. Or seen. I'm doing a YouTube video to pull attention to a game that's not really had any attention to it. Sure, there's been YouTubers who's done videos on it. I'll admit that. I've seen several videos like that Sea Salt Sweets. And this other friend of mine which I'm subscribed to also. <clears throat> which is this other friend of mine which I'm going to show you now because I don't want to leave him out of this let me try to find him this guy right here he told me he did a he did, he did a, a playthrough with this game too
so like I said, I'm not the only one who's done a playthrough on this game. But I'm trying to do a playthrough on it to help other subscribers who hasn't seen this game on anybody's YouTuber or even thought about seeing this game. I'm trying to get it out there to where other people will see it and like it. And decide, huh, that looks like a cool game. I might buy I might go ahead and download that and play it. <clears throat> now YouTube, if you wanna say if you wanna if you wanna freaking stop me from doing that, then be my guest. Because all you're doing is creating a more difficult time for the create the real creators of the app games that I'm doing videos on. And to be honest, I think they would approve of me get drawing attention to their games because it's almost like I'm promoting their games for them without being paid to or asked to. I'm promoting their games, which is what a lot of us YouTubers do when we do game playthroughs. We pretty much promote the game for them. Every video we do, every video PewDiePie does, every video Cinnamon Toast Kin does, every video that any of us do on a game itself is pretty much helping promote that game to the public. To all people out there to see. All the people in the world to see. And if you're going to stop, if you're going to try to stop all these people from doing that, then what's the, then what's the point in anybody playing the game? Why don't you go ahead and tell them, tell the company to to mark the game to where no one can play it, or or stop production on a on an Xbox game and stop shipping it out to stores and just keep it in the factory. Because see, I've got proof right here that I did not do anything to the copyright law. Yeah, I didn't mention who created it, but that's because if you watch this first video, part one. And there, what's up, guys? It's Badass2189 here. And some see. of you know me as Chris J or Chris J Doe. Right and I am currently doing a, I decided to do a YouTube video on this a horror game today. This is supposedly the the best horror RPG game on your smartphone. It's rated 17 for mature for mature people. It's about it's called Hide and Seek: The Story of Dorothy, and it's made by a company called Tabom Tab Ohm Soft. Tabom Soft. And As it's about see, a girl who falls asleep while playing right hide and seek. I, I cop, I Odd events I are occurring in the house. Everybody who's watching this video, you gotta try to guess the mystery through messages and hints. I never once claimed that helped I created Dorothy this game. to slowly rega regain her memory. I claim who created it is Tab himself. <sighs> So, uh, so if you want to keep on, let's go ahead, before we go ahead and dive right in, I want if you want to keep on and continue claiming that, you know, I'm copyright infringing, infringing a freaking game app by somehow, somehow imaginatively cr claiming that I created it or some stupid crap like that, then you're a, then, then then YouTube, you're not as smart as I really thought you was. And a lot of people thought think you are. Because I never once claimed I created this game. I never once said, oh, this is my game. I made this by hand or anything like that. I never created any part of this game. I had no part in it. Tabumsoft deserves all the credit for the game. That's who created the game. Tabumsoft. And if you want to find them, go on Google Play and look up Hide and Seek Story of Dorothy. And the first thing that pops up, click on it, and there you will see the, the, the real creators of the game, which is Tabumsoft. 
I never created this game. I never chose to make this game. They made it. Just like they made all these other terrific games. This is Tabumsoft. They made all these terrific games here. All these games you see right here. All these games they made. They are awesome. They all look awesome games. They look like they're awesome. And once I'm finished with Hide and Seek Story of Dorothy, I'm going to play this game next, which is Hide and Seek 2 Story of D Damien. I'm going to play that one next because that one even looks cool. The images of it, it just looks so awesome. And the way it just shows the game, it just looks so cool. And I'll probably even play more of their games too. I might even play this one. The Asylum. Closed Ward. Horror game. And after that, I'll probably play this one, The Exorcist. <clears throat> Story of the School. I'm not going to quit playing a game, because some of their games is actually pretty neat. I won't be able to play some of the ones that cost money, like this one, Deep Sea Girl. But I bet it's cool. Look at that. It is pretty cool. pretty cool but I can't play that because I don't have I don't really have any money on a Google Play account at all to buy that so like I said so like I said YouTube if you want to keep you want to keep or you want to you want to if you want to censor more of my videos go ahead but I'll find a way to get them back out there whether it be through Facebook or some other random uh, video you know video uploading website that's like YouTube I'll find another one there's I'm sure there's hundreds of them out there and I'll find a, and until then I'll just I'll keep doing like I just did in this video. I'll video record the video you decided to censor and stop from me from putting out there so my subscribers can see it. You stopped my video from being seen by them, so I went ahead and recorded it during this video so they could watch it themselves still. So you go ahead and keep censoring me. But you won't, but in the end, you won't. I'm still going to try to get my video to my subscribers. They will see the video. <clears throat> so, in, re in while closing, I just want to say, once again, to all you subscribers and people who watch my videos and view them, keep it up. Keep watching my videos. Keep subscribing to me. All you who watch my videos, subscribe to me even, because you will even you don't know what what video I'll do next. I understand, yes, I don't upload every day, but that's because I only upload when I get an idea. I don't go out and try to find an idea. I upload the instant I get an idea to do. And the instant I get an idea of something I can do, I do it. And uh also, I've been busy quite a bit, like I said. This whole YouTuber battle thing, I've been working on it and working on it and working on it. I've gotten, we've only gotten three YouTubers still. I'm trying to drag more in, but I'm having trouble finding more, which is what I've been fighting so hard to do. Which, that ain't the only thing either. I've also been busy with my Black Ops 2 Clan stuff. If you, which we're current, which currently we are looking for more members to be in this Black Ops 2 clan, in our Black Ops 2 clan. If you put, and it's, 
we're, 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 part, we're called Exiled Gaming Community. That's what we are. An exiled, we are Exiled Gaming Community. And we are Syndicate. I'm a part of Clan Fearless. And we are currently looking for more members. So, if you... We have a few little requirements. One, you have to be over the age of 16. Two, you have to have a mic. That is a must. You have to have a mic. Three, you have to it, the, you have to have Black Ops 2 and play it on the Xbox 360 because that's where we play. And four. You have to talk to, you have to, you, there's strict rules in the thing you have to be able to obey to. You cannot disobey rules or pick and choose what ones you want to follow and what ones you don't. You have to obey all the rules. Like some of the rules say you cannot say anything racial or sexist, which is, you can't. You're not allowed to say that type of stuff in the clan. And once you join this Black Ops 2 clan, you can't you can't sit there and say stuff like that. If you're wanting to join, comment on this video, your gamer tag, I'll pass it off to my general, and she'll get you into the into the into the Black Ops 2 clan. But like I said, you gotta comment on on this video telling me you want you would like that you're interested in joining the Black Ops 2 clan and then put your gamer tag on Xbox 360 on 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 the comment in the video on on a comment under the video and uh, like I said I'll pass it to my general her name is Alley Cat which her real name is Allison and she'll get it and she'll go ahead and read you on into the clan into the black ops 2 clan so with that i will say i will say i care about you all you are all my best friends because you are all my subscribers and like i said you make my my channel my youtube channel what it is it's you guys i don't make this youtube channel i just make the videos i created the youtube channel but you guys help me make it what it is right now you guys subscribe to me for my videos you guys watch my videos you guys comment on my videos you keep my channel active so it's up to you guys Subscribe to me for more content and keep on subscribing to me. Keep liking my videos. Keep watching my videos. Keep commenting, you know, giving me ideas, telling me what you'd like to see me, what you'd like to see me play in another video. <coughs> if I have, then that's another thing. If you tell me a game name and in the next video I didn't play it, it might, it's possibly because I don't have it. If it's on Xbox 360 or something else, I don't have it, or I don't have that game system for it, or if it's on the mobile device, I don't have any space for it. I currently have been playing Pokemon Go just like all of you guys have, I know. It sounds weird, it sounds, it's a pretty cool, it's a cool game. I'm on Team Valor, so, you know, the red team. And I've been playing it for quite a while, and uh, I've been trying. Been, I tried to do a video on it before, but the video failed. It failed to upload. I guess when I tried to upload it, my YouTube channel messed up. It didn't let it upload, and the video ended up getting deleted when my phone re, re factory resetted itself. But I'm going to try to do another video. I'm going to try to throw it up on YouTube and get it up on here for all my subscribers to see me playing Pokemon Go if you guys would like to see that. 
If not, then you know, no problem. I'll still upload it for those of you who do want to see it. And those of you who don't want to see it, like I said, just let me know what you'd like to see me, what, what game or app you'd like to see me play. I'll play whatever it takes, you know. So, uh, because like I said, you guys make my YouTube channel a legend, not me, you guys. You guys are pretty much the legends. You guys are the ones who make us YouTube legends. You guys help us make our channels become like worldwide and known and wet and popular and everything. So keep it up. Just keep get, keep helping helping us get YouTube subscribers. If you have to tell your friends about my YouTube channel if you think they'd like some of the videos on here. If you've got family or anything that you think would like this YouTube channel, tell them about it. Spread my YouTube channel's word out. I'll, uh, and anybody who sub and like I say, like well, like I've been doing, anybody who subscribes to me, I'll subscribe to you and I'll even give you a shout out in one of my videos. I'll always give you a shout out in my videos when you subscribe to me and help me out. Because I help you out by subscribing to you and I also give you shout outs to get you more subscribers from some of mine. And I've helped multiple people out. If you watch some of my videos, I've actually helped several a few people get a few more subscribers. I don't have very many yet, but once I start getting more, you'll get a lot more. So just Keep it on helping me. And uh, thank you all for listening and hearing me rant and rave about YouTube. Like I said to YouTube, they sent you censored my video, but I'm going to get this video out there to my subscribers. They deserve to see my videos. I never once said I claimed rights to this game. I never once said that I created the game. All I said was the game's name is Hide and Seek Story of Dorothy and that I am playing it. That's all I said. As you saw in my first video, I tagged that I named them in the video who created it. I put their name on there in the video of who created the game. Not me, it was called their company is called Tabumsoft, and they've made lots of app games out there that are horror games, and they're cool. And this video is all, is like I said, this video is of my other video, which never got out to you guys because YouTube stopped it. So, like I always say in my YouTube in my YouTube videos, like I always try to say, like. My, my videos, watch my videos, comment on my videos, and subscribe to my channel for more content. And if you if you have if you have a Facebook account and you want to friend request me on there, you can friend request me, and I'll talk. I'll, ha I'll, I'll chat with you on Facebook through messages. My my Facebook name is Chris J Doe, which is C H R I S space J space D O E and my Facebook's profile picture is the same as on my YouTube channel here it's a picture of Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th my favorite movie and now I am actually currently working on a Twitter account which I believe is already up and running I don't fully know how to re how to act, act use it because I mean the first social media site I was using was myspace until you know whoever took it over screwed it all up whoever bought it from Tom or whoever that guy was they screwed it all up and made it more difficult and harder than hell to you know to view pictures and so on and so forth so I ended up transferring from there to Facebook which I shut down my MySpace channel and sh turned on a Facebook channel and now I'm currently 
going to run a Facebook and a Twitter account, which my Twitter account is under the same name as my YouTube. Well, my YouTube, well, my Facebook. It's the same name as on my Facebook. Chris J. Doe. It should be. So, uh... So, yeah. I'm not fully sure how to run the Twitter account yet, but if you would like to, you can go on there and, you know... Uh, friend request me on there if you want to. I'm not full, fully sure on how to run that yet, but I'm trying to learn it. I'm new to this whole way of stuff. I'm new to all the space, social network and stuff. I've never used anything before MySpace and then Facebook. Twitter I'm trying to use now, but it's kind of confusing. So, yeah. If you got a Twitter account, find me on there. If you got Facebook, find me on there under Chris J. Doe, both of those. And like I said earlier, like and subscribe and comment on all my videos and my channel. Thank you and peace out.